Well, guess what, everyone? Topaz Gigapixel AI gets a new update. This is version 5.8. Today, I'm going to do an extreme cropping test, and I'm going to provide you with downloadable test results so you could check the results out for yourself. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. Yeah, Topaz Gigapixel AI has a new update. And as Topaz often do, they put the product on sale. Now, you can save $20 off right now. Plus, if you click on my affiliate link in the description below, at checkout, use my promo code David Kelly. You'll save an additional 15% off. Now, that includes license renewals and any of the Topaz products, even their bundled software. So it's a nice savings. I'll also give you a link for the uh, change log in the description below the video. That way, you can check out the new improvements and fixes on the new Topaz Gigapixel AI. You can also download the uh, test results for today's video. I'll provide a link uh, for you in the description description below as well because I want to do an extreme crop on an image and I want to provide those test results for you so you can see is Topaz Gigapixel really what they say it is you could download those uh, files and check it out for yourself if you don't already own Topaz Gigapixel or if you're not sure if you want to update yet well let's get to it I'm in uh, Gigapixel AI this is version 5.8 the latest update now I'm in the comparison view and I'm uh, comparing the standard model up in the upper left corner to the low resolution model next to it underneath the standard model is very compressed and right to the right of it is another very compressed model and this is nice whichever window you have activated you can put any model in that window just by clicking on the active window and i'm running the uh, auto settings in all these windows except this last window i added a little extra remove blur just to see what kind of result i can get and by the way, I'm using Gigapixel AI as a standalone app today. Now, let me go to Edit Crop. I've already cropped this image, but I'm going to click on Edit Crop here. And you can see, this is how aggressive my crop is. And I think you'll agree with me that this is a very aggressive crop. So this will really put Gigapixel to its paces here, all right? So let's go ahead and I'm going to click Crop here. Now, I'm just, right now it says free, but in reality it was original so i do have this in the original aspect ratio okay so let me go ahead and click crop here and that image is cropped let me go back to my uh, comparison view i'm going to go ahead and zoom into let's zoom into at least 100 percent so we could take a look at this i don't know is this a fly i think it's a fly on here but again all of these models are using the auto settings except for the last very compressed model i added extra remove blur to give it a little extra sharpness just to see if there was a difference now don't forget you're going to be able to download the original image as well as the uh, upsized images on my google drive i'll provide that link for you uh, this starts out as a tiff file it was edited simply in Lightroom as a raw file and then converted right over to a TIFF. So all the editing was done right in Lightroom. Right now, we're in the comparison view. We're viewing four different uh, models here. Actually, three models, two are the same. But this is very important. Whenever you see a model with that is highlighted in blue, that is the model that you're using. If you were to save image, you would apply that model to the outputted image. And this is very important because if I look at all four of these images, I find for my eye that very compressed looks the best. So I'm gonna click on very compressed and now you'll notice that is highlighted in blue, right? And if I were to go ahead and click save image right now, that very compressed model would be applied to that image. But I'm not ready yet because we have to pick a size that we wanna upsize this to. Now there's different ways of doing this. You can do scale, width, or height. I'm gonna use uh, scale, but you notice I'm, I really cropped in super tight to this image. So I'm gonna upsize this six times because this image right now is only 1011 pixels by 674 pixels it's super tiny it's a very small file and right now i'm at 6x but you'll notice right here it says 5.7 for some reason gigapixel was saying dave we can only give you 5.7 on this image you really cropped it tight so okay gigapixel i'll take it but that'll upsize me to 5761 by 3840 and that will bring it almost up to the original size, it'll be slightly larger than the original uncropped image. 
which is pretty impressive. And then I'm going to upsize it one more time. I'll take that image, and I mean the upsized image, and then I'll double its size and see if Gigapixel can handle that. So after I upsize it, I'll have to bring it back into Gigapixel and upsize it a little bit more. But for now, I can just click on Save Image because I have very compressed selected. So let's go to Save Image. And we have some choices here, Image Format, TIFF. I'm going to leave it in TIFF. Now you'll notice here you can use the source format, which is TIFF. Or you could use JPEG, whatever you want. You'll notice you see JPEG twice. It's the same thing. It's just different ways of saying JPEG as well as TIFF, okay? And you could do PNG or, D or DNG. I'm just going to use TIFF, so I'm going to leave it in TIFF. No compression, 16-bit. Uh, you have a choice of 8 or 16. I want the highest resolution, and let's give it a name. I went ahead and renamed this David Kelly Image 4978. I put the pixel dimensions in there. First up size, very compressed, just so you'll know if you download the test results. I'm going to put this back in my source directory. Color profile, I'm going to leave it in Pro Photo RGB because that's what I always use. I'm going to go ahead and click Save. And it goes ahead, it will go ahead and save itself out. And it's done. It's pretty darn quick. I'm on a Mac computer, so I went ahead and opened up the image in preview so we could see it. This is the upsized image. Now remember, it started out as a 1011 by 674 pixels, upsized to a 5761 by 3840 pixel image so it's a pretty nice dramatic upsize now i will upsize it one more time now i brought that upsized image back into gigapixel and as you can see it's 57 55 by 3840 now i'm going to upsize it two times as you can see here two times it's going to be 11,510 pixels by 7,680 pixels. So we're taking an image that has been upsized in gigapixel, and we're going to see if we can upsize that upsized image two times larger. This will be a good test, and you can download my test results. This time, I'm just going to use the standard model in the auto settings. We'll just see what kind of results we get. I'm upsizing two times. It's not being cropped, so let's go ahead and click Save Image. We'll save it as a TIFF with a bit depth of 16. Let's give it a name. I went ahead and called it David Kelly, just with the image number and second upsize two times standard. That's the model standard. And then the pixel dimensions and the pro photo color profile. And I'll save it back to the source directory. So I'm just going to go ahead and click Save and... That is the amount of time it takes to save that larger image. This is in real time, and you can go ahead and watch the progress bar. As you can see, it is pretty fast. Now I'm working on an iMac. It's around the 2019 model. And now it is done. And now I'm using that preview app to show the second upsized image. This image is now 11,510 pixels by 7,680 pixels. And remember, you can download all of these test results and see for yourself with your own eyes how good Gigapixel AI really is. Especially, you got to admit, this is an extreme crop on this image. Well, there you go, everyone. Topaz Gigapixel AI, a new update, version 5.8. Today, I did an extreme cropping test. Now, don't forget, you can download the original file along with the two upsized extreme crops and check out the results for yourself. Nothing has been doctored. This is right out of Gigapixel AI. If you enjoyed the tutorial today, please give it a like and share it with your friends. If you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe. Click that bell notification icon. Then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll be notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Cully. I'll see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.